Alright, this is part two for this the solo part for ACDC Sync the Pink. Um, my volume, well, before the solo, well, um, it starts out, I told you. After that, after that, it goes to a D. Okay, so it goes. And then after that, it goes to the A string on the third fret. And down to the second fret on the A string. So. And then you got the G string on the fifth fret. And then. D string on the fifth fret also, and then uh, index finger on the four, uh, third fret on the A string. So you yeah, you have. And then you go back down to this uh, little thing right here. Same thing. Up here. To the D, and back t uh, to the slow riff. And instead of going, just move down. So you have. After that, um, it goes to this little riff, little catchy one. Um, starts out the E string and the sixth fret, and then the third fret on the E string also. So, and just move your pinky uh, index finger up to the B string on the third fret. So. It's, and then up to the 6th fret on B string. So, it goes. So. Well, it sounds like this. So you have the... And then you pluck 2, which is the B string on the 5th fret. And then also on the 5th fret you have the G string. I just use one finger. And then you go down to the third fret, same thing. So it's. So it's. And to the fifth fret on the D string. A little vibrato in there. So it's. Go slow. So you can see it. Here's where the solo is, and usually it starts out with the, which I told you, which I taught you in my previous video. It does that before the solo. But here's the solo. Um, it starts out. Um, so you have on the fifth fret two strings on the fifth fret B and G on the fifth fret. This is where it changes a little bit. Um, third fret B string. Pluck these two together. And uh, on the G string, fourth fret. So you have the. That's how you do. And then you go up to the sixth fret on the B string. Change it up to the eighth. And you go back to this. And you got to the fifth. 
Yeah, the fifth fret on the G string. Bend it up to the seventh. So you have to the 8th fret and just vibrato it. And then back to this. To the 6th, move it up to the 8th. On the B string. On the B string. And this is where it goes up to the 13th fret on the B string. Bend it up to the 15th. And back down to the 13th. 10th on the B string. And then 12th on the uh, G string. So, and you want to go down to the high E string on the 13th fret. Bend it up to the 15th. And I move up, and you do the 13th fret on the E string. It's kind of like a hammer on. 13th fret, 15th fret on the E string. Back to the 13th. And then you have the 15th fret on the B string. And then to the 13th fret on the B string. So it's, it's like a hammer on. And then uh, you have... So you have after this. So which is uh, this little thing right here. 13th, once again on the B. Bend it up to the 15th. And you want to go to the 10th on the E string. So that's 13th. And then you go to the 13th on the B string. Down to the 10th on the B string. And 12th on the G string. And then back up to the 10th on the B string. And then back to the uh, 12th fret on the G string. And then down to the 10th fret on the G string. And then 12th fret on the D string. So it's... So here's the solo so far. So you have... You go to the 11th fret on the B string. Bend it up to the 13th. And then you go up to the 13th. And then on the B string. And down to the 11th on the B string. And down to the 10th. So it's... And then down to the G string. Yeah, G string on the 12th fret. So, and then you just go back and forth with that. So you go. You just play around with that. And then back up to the 13th bending. But that's the whole solo. So here it is. what I've told you. But anyway, that's the cover for Sync to Pink. Hope it helps you guys. See ya.